care, the global plight of uncared men, women, and children is to be addressed. The situation in India is not all right, considering 52% of its women and children are anemic, leading to stunted growth and loss in work. 53% of the children below four years are malnourished and undernourished. India is currently home to 40% malnourished children, 20% of the world population. The current statistics on illness and disorders, loss of work hours, cost of medication, and above all human family miseries are mind-boggling. Climate change, global warming, carbon emission, sequestration are front pages new, notwithstanding their effects on human health, nutrition, prosperity, and wellness. Human migration to places of high opportunity and income generation, depleted natural resources with limited or no replenishment of health care. WHO has warned that more than 270 million people are becoming victims to diseases linked to unhealthy lifestyle, sedentary jobs, no time left for exercise, consumption of ready-made junk foods, and above all, medications are leading to new lifestyle diseases. By 2020, chronic diseases are expected to claim 700 7.63 million lives in India, compared to 3.78 million in 1990. India already is the home to the largest number of diabetic patients and is projected to have 30 million by 2020. Despite above distractions and setbacks, there is a visible development in the activities around wellness in India. Life expectancy of both men and women have gone up. Diseases like malaria, filariasis, chickenpox are under control. The middle class with reasonable purchasing power has swelled and consequently booming in service sectors including communication and transport are visible. The fifth World Wellness Congress under the aegis of Divine Noni Family Wellness Service starting today is expected to show cause empowerment of men and women to the bliss of wellness through wellness lectures, wellness shows, and wellness cuisines. I wish the Congress a very effective and expect a very high level of impact on the lives of the people, especially the participants. As I said, the, our wellness family, our Noni family, we believe in wellness strongly. We believe in oneness, as Dr. Govinder has pointed out, that we have to be one and one, all, all and one together. Only then we can fight with the illness and bring out wellness to every member, not only of our own country, but every member of the universe. We believe in love, peace, and harmony. And we, we pray, Almighty, that we all succeed in our mission to make the whole world a healthy, wealthy, and wellness nation, universe, and the whole humanity is benefited out of this movement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Wellness morning. Good morning. Namaskar. When I come to all of you. Wellness is your birthright. You must be aware of your right before you can claim it. And he is making everyone aware of the birthright that you are born to be well. In creation, everything is perfect. The universe, not only planet Earth is a small segment of the entire universe, 
everything is perfect 